All right, boys, so we do have a top 10 today, and it's not a cheap one at all. There's a lot of expensive cards on it, and it's going to be a positionless top 10. It's going to be my total top 10 cards in the game right now. Basically, my top 10 must-haves in the game right now. Let's get right into that number 10. So at number 10, I kind of have a weird one right here. Basically, it's not going to be one card, but it's more of a quarterback, I would say. I would say these two are kind of tied from here. I didn't want to put one quarterback or, yeah, I didn't want to put one quarterback here and then the quarterback later because I just feel like you obviously can only use one quarterback anyways and when it comes down to it both of these cards are very very good in the game obviously drew blood so being a higher overall is gonna be better statistically but as you guys know in madden the biggest thing in the game is release getting the ball out your hands fastest especially in a high blitz meta right now aaron Rodgers does have the fast release in the game but the thing with drew blood so is he does have a faster release than vic who was re uh, just released a little bit ago who's also a very good card in the game but he also is just a tiny bit slower than Rodgers. you'll see a lot of cockbacks with him but he does does get the ball out through the air so much faster a lot of people don't like that though when it comes to free form it kind of switches up your free form usually like how it would be with rogers like i said i don't know which one whatever one you perform more here would you rather have the ball get out your hands faster or would you rather ball move through the air faster pick your poison right here i personally like rogers more right now but i am using blood so for the legends theme team but for number 10 i'm just gonna basically label this quarterback and so now we move into that number nine spot. We do have Chris McAllister here. And like I said, this list is pretty hefty in price. There are all these cards are going to be very good. This is a 90 overall corner in the game. We have also, I think we have two total corners on this list. And this is coming in at our number two spot. 88 speed, six foot one. An amazing card. He has good excel to match that speed as well at 90, which is amazing. He has also 90 man and 90 zone hitting both thresholds right there another card i really like is Tariq woolen in the game right now but i didn't include him because obviously you can't get him anymore I, if you got him you got him i don't like to include cards you can't get anymore but chris McAllister right now is a very good card in the game a very solid corner if you could throw it on your team this is a card that i do have to pick up soon here for this legend same team i'm building and at number eight we do have saquon barkley and saquon barkley came onto the scene and i was so excited for this card to come out he is an absolute animal they have dropped a couple running backs recently and they're all very good and i like saquon a lot he comes with 88 seed which is tied for the highest in the game there are three total running backs including saquon one that are all 88 speed so it's the highest right now he has really good agility on him as well the change direction solid on him he has solid catching at 70 which is okay he has also the 85 trucking which is good and then the the biggest stat right there i think break tackle is one of the best stats at the running back i don't really trucking trucking really doesn't matter unless you're actually like trucking but most of the time i like to juke in this game a lot i feel like it gets a lot of yards and then juking into like a, say a hit stick a break tackle will help you a lot there more than like the trucking stat will so i like a card like saquon he's also a very very girthy card for his kind of build 511 but he is 233 pounds so saquon tends to fall forward a lot i really do like him in the game right now i actually don't have him as my number one running back though there is one more running back later on this list but saquon's definitely a card you could add on your team he's an animal so here at number seven, we do have Ray. I think it's Nitschke, right? Hopefully I'm saying that right. But uh, this card, he's an animal. I got to use him today on stream. I love them. I feel like linebackers are starting to make their way forward into the meta right now. Obviously, you got to pay for a lurker. Good thing is that if you do power him up, you can get that lurker for only one AP, similar to Derek Johnson. But when you look at him, he is six foot three. Very good for a user right now. 235 pounds. He is 88 speed as well, which is insane. We have literally wide receivers, Larry Fitch. Gerald in the game right now a very meta wide receiver in the game literally the same exact speed as his card and he is an he's a unit he's a unit out there he has 92 hit power as well 90 zone so say if you don't even want to user him you can literally leave him out there and lurker by himself he's gonna play very very good for you out there really good block shed like I said linebackers do play the run much better I feel like a lot of people are coming out in dollar which is a three down lineman and then you have two users in the middle a lot of people are running that and they're putting two linebackers now there with Derek Johnson and Ray and they're making plays in the run game with five total people in the box it's kind of nasty but at the end of the day if it works it works and I feel like middle linebackers are starting to come to the meta and this is the perfect card to use right now I like I said I only got to use him a couple games on stream today had to sell him and I'm gonna buy him back when he drops in price but this is a card that I absolutely love Love right now and speaking of larry fitz we do have him at our number six spot i think larry fitz has been an absolute blast to have on the team six foot three 88 speed when is the last time you played a madden and larry fitz has been kind of meta speed in the game you, know, you never see that you never see it and i absolutely love it that he is in the game 
very usable a top i have him ranked as our number two wide receiver that's how good i love this card i know he's a physical archetype but he still does get short and elite for 2 ap which is the meta ability in the game so you're not really missing much there he does have 90 catching 90 catching traffic really good spec catch at 89 and then when you look at me as 89 short out running 87 medium and a 90 deep out running he has dominated man coverage for me he's played my slot he's played my outside he's played against zones he's mossed a lot of people for me I love this card. He's definitely a bailout as well with that height. Larry Fitz feels like almost a must. And he's actually, believe it or not, one of the cheaper cards on this list, being under 300k at sometimes. And at number five, I have what I believe to be the best running back in the game, Christian McCaffrey. This is a card that I love right now. He bait like the one thing I love about him though is that he is so small he gets through every single hole when you're running the ball i've run a lot of counters out of shotgun i've run powers even just dives at the middle he bounces off linemen being so small at five foot eleven only 200 pounds he feels very skinny in the game that makes sense he feels very very skinny he also does have 90 excel which is amazing and 91 agility which is nuts that is absolutely nuts the thing i love about him too really good carrying but he has 82 catching so he's above 80 at that catching we saw saquon at a 70 so he is much better there he also has higher change of direction than saquon the thing that i like i said the trucking you're not going to truck with him anyways you're never going to truck with cmc so that doesn't matter you're gonna be juking anyways he also does have the best juke move in the game which is awesome that's why i love him as well and then the break tackle 88 is amazing I'm telling you, I feel like CMC, he also gets short in elite and backfield master for a discount as well. This card feels amazing. I love him. If you haven't watched the gameplay yet, he absolutely went off. I think he had four touchdowns in a game. All running, you have, you guys know what the backfield master or whatever it is, running back apprentice, you can put him on the Texas angle routes. And then with short in elites, like a baby route tech, it dominates, man. It's like guaranteed touchdowns that they have no help over top. CMC is an absolute animal. At our number four spot, we do have Rod Woodson. And Rod Woodson is one that I have... Believe it or not, there's two cards on this list I have not used yet, and he is one of them. But he is one I've played against a lot. I've watched a lot. I've seen him on Raiders theme teams. I've seen him on Legends theme teams. And I've seen him just dominate me on just God Squad. Simple. Rod Woodson's a card that's always good in Madden. They did move him over to cornerback this year at 89 speed. Or moved him over to free safety this year from cornerback. 89 speed, which is very, very good for DBs right now. There's only one card faster than him at the DB position. He also has 89 Excel to match that, which is great. And the thing I love about him too, the play rack above 90, which is amazing. He has 90 man and 91 zone coverage. And then he comes, he's good in the box as well. He has 88 hit power. He's six foot as well. And then when you come down here he does have 73 block shed which isn't awful they've actually lowered that down a lot more this year so 73 is actually pretty solid this year rod woodson is a card i absolutely love in the game right now i cannot wait for him to keep on tanking these legend cards right now are insanely priced at our number three spot we do have cameron wake and cameron wake is an absolute glitch in the game right now this is a card that is very rare right now very rare very expensive but this is the one that i still feel like had to make the top three he is so valuable he does get edge threat for three ap which is normal right but he also gets he's the first card in the game that gets a free ability he gets speedster as you guys can see on his card right there for zero ap the first zero ap ability i don't think speedster is anything op but pairing that with an edge threat you're probably gonna put him in it anyways he also does come with 91 block shed 92 finesse move i absolutely love cameron rake right now i feel like he is by far the best pass rusher in the game and also he is 87 speed the next guy that I feel like is right there is like Von Miller, who's very good and has not above 90 block shed. He's 84 speed. Also, fast guys like LT or even, uh, I'm trying to think, Vrabel, they're both 85 speed. He is still two speed faster than them. I feel like Cameron Wake is miles ahead, but that price tag is absolutely insane on this one. At number two, we have what I like to believe is the best corner in the game, a 90 speeded corner with 90 excel and 91 agility he is amazing across the board he also has 90 man which matches the meta the only thing that we could have asked for possibly better on this card is we would have loved to see 80 or 90 plus zone right or even like an 89 actually what like literally an 87 would have been great because if you have the purple track cards you get a plus three and yes he only gets to an 89 which does suck but at the end of the day i feel like he's still amazing that's six foot match with 90 speed and 90 man if you run a lot of man blitzes which i know a lot of you guys probably do because a lot of us do we run into it all the time it's a very good way to play defense right now he matches that scheme you put him in the slot he's gonna still obviously lose reps like every single corner in madden history has there's no corner that wins 100 times out of 100 times in madden but champ bailey is gonna be the best possible thing you can put out there without a doubt 
And at number one, we do have the best wide receiver in the game. And I feel like this is the most valuable card in the game. I did use him today for a gameplay. You guys, or yesterday for a gameplay. I'm recording this the day of. So technically I'm recording this and you, you get it, you get it. But Herman Moore, I got to use him on stream as well for like many games. I'm talking like 10 plus games. He is an absolute animal. 90 speed, 92 jumping. And then when you look at him, he has 92 spec catch. He also does have 290 threshold route running at medium and also deep route running. And then we didn't even get to the good part yet. He is six foot four. He is six foot four. That is insane. So basically think about Randy Moss, but being like the tallest guy in the, or, I don't even know what I'm saying. The fastest card in the game right now at 90 speed. Herman Moore is just insane, boys. He is an absolute animal. I He also does get short and elite for one AP, I believe, right? I'm pretty sure short and elite, once you power him up, you do get for one AP as well. I didn't power him up, so I don't know that. He was way too expensive to power up. But Herman Moore, at the end of the day, I'm telling you guys, this card gave me success. You could highball him too. He's going to make a lot of plays. He is an absolute bailout out there. Just think about not as good as, not as tall par him, but just, a much better all-around card. Like, I'm telling you, this card is definitely number one. He's, I mean, he's over a million for a reason. Right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing the top tens. They are an absolute blast to record. Also, just doing the kind of work outside of doing the top ten. So, like, getting the list set together before I end up recording. I love that part. It goes a lot of thought process in. I asked a lot of people in chat about their feedback, opinions on cards. And that's how I come up with this. A lot of games go into it as well. Using, I've used almost every single card on here is why I play the game so much. So I kind of feel like I have good opinions on these cards. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that sub. We're on that road to 20K subscribers. A huge milestone I'm so excited to reach. Hopefully here soon in the future. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.